Thank you. Uh, I'm presenting uh, what happens to poverty in Ethiopia over the last decades in a changing economic landscape uh, setting. Um, I did this with uh, David. And uh, uh, the motivation is that, as explained uh, from the chair, hmm, is that since uh, 1995, uh, the Ethiopian economy has experienced uh, economic growth and the structural improvement has been seen. Uh, and then we want to see uh, what happened to poverty under this uh, changing economic landscape. But uh, measuring poverty is complicated uh, because of uh, certain conceptual and practical issues. Uh, uh, consistency and the specificity of poverty estimates across uh, time and space is, is challenging. Uh, particularly uh, in Ethiopia, uh, different commodity lists and recall period over time that affects the level of reported consumption uh, has happened. Uh, specificity of poverty lines across space is also important. So this is important, particular for Ethiopia, where the uh, country is large with 80 million population, around 80 uh, ethnic groups, and with diverse uh, agroecological uh, setting. So the objective of this paper is to analyze uh, the poverty, uh, the monetary poverty supported with non-monetary uh, uh, side of poverty. Uh, in Ethiopia between 2000 and 2001. We're using uh, the National Representative Household Expenditure Surveys and applying uh, the toolkit developed by Ahmed and, and Simler 2010, the utility consistent approach to calculating the cost of basic need, um, uh, cost of basic need poverty lines. And we put the monetary poverty measures in context uh, by comparing them with other macroeconomic indicators and non-economic indicators. Um, I shouldn't uh, dwell too much on, on methodology, which is a utility constant approach, and uh, uh, which involves calculating the regional specific uh, poverty line, and that ensures each consumption bundle in the region specific uh, cost of basic need poverty line. Uh, which represents the same level of utility, consistency, and we employ a maximum entropy approach to reconcile cases where the consistency uh, tests are, are failed uh, by using uh, prior information to support, uh, giving support values for the maximum entropy starting point. Uh, we analyze, uh, when we analyze poverty, we need uh, to choose three things. One is, what is the welfare indicator? and what is a poverty line, and what are the measures of poverty that we use. In our case, we use the monetary measure of poverty using per capita household consumption as an indicator, and the household level consumption aggregate uh, has been con uh, constructed by aggregating into various food and non-food uh, expenditure items. We estimated the poverty line using the, the toolkit prepared by Arnold and, and Simler. Uh, for the 20 special domains in Ethiopia, including Addis Ababa and Harare, these are basically urban areas, and urban and rural areas of other nine regional states. In total, we have 20 special domains. Poor food poverty line uh, were estimated first, anchored to the quality requirement to ensure the specificity of each domain for each domain. And poverty line is also based on demographic structure and fertility pattern of those um, uh, special domains. We employ uh, the, the P alpha measure of uh, poverty indices to measure the level and changes of poverty. Uh, we also employed standard tests of stochastic dominance, the second and the third order stochastic dominance. We use the poverty line, which serves as also as a cost of living index to map the nominal household consumption to real household consumption using the index uh, constructed from this poverty line. And the distribution of real household consumption are then used to conduct dominant tests and the stochastic dominant tests and the measure of inequality. So now uh, the, the data uh, set that we use is uh, a primary data source uh, that was collected in year 2000, 2005, and 2000. 11 from household consumption expenditure survey, and also for the non-monetary measure, we use a welfare monitoring survey, which has more 
larger sample size than that of the uh, household consumption expenditure survey. The coverage of these three surveys um, are similar, particularly in, in the special domains, the major urban areas, the rural regions, and other urban areas. But in our case, we merge the urban, uh, the capital cities and other urban areas together, and we have urban and rural. The sample size grew from 17,000 to 21,000, and later on in 2011 to 28,000 uh, for the three consecutive survey periods. The number of food items used in the data collection process has been increasing from uh, survey to survey. They started with 252 items, then 2005 rose to 872, and then in 2010 they aggregate some of them, uh, learning from the previous uh, long items, and had uh, 653 items. So this is one of also the challenge when we compare poverty across, across time. Uh, let's uh, first talk about the, the context uh, of the economy as a whole. There has been uh, a structural change uh, take, took place in the economy, which was led by the Ethiopian government deliberate active uh, uh, strategy of agricultural development led industrialization. With the exception of the first two years in the decade, the real value of agricultural production in the country grew by around 9% per year on average, which finally resulted a real uh, agricultural GDP between 2000 and 2000 to be doubled. And much of this growth uh, has been driven by the production of cereals, uh, which accounts for a three quarter of the uh, cultivated area. And in addition, Ethiopia has implemented uh, productive safety net programs since 2005, which was helping around 8 million people per year uh, uh, for rural, rural poor. And this PSNP is largely a public work, but with 5% of its budget going to direct support to help uh, the disabled and, and also lactating uh, mothers. In addition, several infrastructural, uh, uh, physical infrastructure building has been done in hydroelectric power, in road, in telecommunication, and other, other sectors. Uh, if we see, uh, this is the, uh, the production of cereals uh, from 2000 to 2010, where we see uh, a large increase in production of maize, wheat, and barley, and other cereals. Uh, and the, uh, according to the information provided by the Ministry of Education, uh, uh, Finance, so the, uh, the GDP uh, uh, grow uh, from around 100 something to uh, 250 million, uh, billion, and if we see the division between agriculture, industry, and service, uh, the intention was that the industrial the sector grew, but it didn't grow too much. Uh, but what we have seen is the growth in agriculture and in service, which surpasses the agriculture in, in 2011, uh, becomes largely a service uh, uh, sector economy. And if we see the cap per capita GDP, per capita GDP on average grew uh, 8% per annum, per annum. And when we come to our, our uh, actual work, uh, we started with the poverty line. Between 2000 and 2011, the cost of basic need rose uh, by around 50,000 per cent per annum. There has been various uh, uh, differences among uh, the special domain, but most of this increase occurred between 2005 and 2010, where the country has uh, faced a serious uh, high rate of inflation. Throughout the survey period, the changes in price of food, both food and non-food items contributed to the overall change of cost of basic needs. The non-food cost uh, uh, slightly uh, rose faster in the second half of the decade than the food. The food price was higher, inflation was higher in the first half, and the second was much higher for the non-food on average are compared over the 10 years. Poverty, poverty line estimates also show that substantial variation, uh, variation in cost of basic need across regions. For example, the 2000 the rural Amhara poverty line was 20% lower than that of Addis Ababa, and that of rural Dredawa poverty line was 12% 12, 12 higher than that of Addis Ababa. And this difference in level and change of poverty line uh, lend credence to the need for the specificity in the construction of the poverty uh, line. Uh, 
when we come to the estimates of poverty and inequality, we start with estimating poverty, and there has been a steady but uneven progress with urban areas witnessing the, greater, the greatest gain in the first half of the decade, and the rural area benefiting more in the latter half of the, the decades. And let's see this, uh, this figure. Uh, uh, if we see uh, the national poverty uh, decline from uh, 50 to 230, and urban from 41 to uh, 14, and rural from 53 to uh, 33, and the gains are uh, much more higher. But when we see um, uh, the, the incidence poverty uh, above the 2000, uh, po uh, 2000 per, uh, poverty level, there is a clear distinction between uh, the level of poverty, although somewhat messy around here. And um, when we see by rural and urban area, so in urban areas they gain between 2000 to 2005, and in rural areas again is much more between 2005 and, and 2011. And this is what we see the second order dominance, uh, where the, the, the decline in, in, in depth of poverty is also there, uh, but less pronounced than the incidence of poverty. And even here is less pronounced in the severity of poverty, the third, third order uh, dominance analysis. And when, uh, when we see inequality, there has been also changes in inequality. Uh, the national inequality rose from 0.28 to 0.33. And the urban first rose in the first half uh, of the decade uh, increased from 0.38 to 0.43. And the later one declined to 0.38 uh, because of some urban activities regarding providing employment in urban areas. And rural, it has been uh, increasing. Uh, in fact, the rural, uh, Guinea is, 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 is more stable. And this has been also witnessed by another uh, inequality index of time index. And the overall inequality that we measure is based on per capita, real per capita conception. And when we look at the non-monetary uh, poverty, we can see uh, the stunting infant mortality rate, net enrollment rate, and, and literacy. And if we see stunting, uh, this is based on the new World Health Organization tables, where it includes African and African countries into comparison. So the, uh, the, the national stunting rate uh, declined from 51 to 38, and more uh, uh, stunting is higher for male than for female. Maybe it's biological. And we see also uh, higher stunting in rural areas than in urban, in urban areas. And we see the infant mortality, it shows uh, a steady decline. This is uh, one of uh, the MDG goals where Ethiopia uh, has already met the MDG targets. And if we see the net enrollment rate for primary education really uh, increase, the, the Ministry of Education estimate is more than this, but this is what we obtained from the Welfare Monitoring Survey, and it increased from 34% to 62%, and uh, both in rural and urban area, but we see in secondary uh, education is not much increase in rate, in rate net enrollment. And we see also similar changes in, in literacy rates uh, in the country. So when we come to the uh, conclusion, there has been fundamental uh, structural change that took place in the economy, improvements in physical infrastructure, better access, better access to improved agricultural inputs, widespread uh, social safety nets may have created a conducive environment for such poverty reduction, and poverty decline substantially over the period from 50 to 30 percent. The decline in poverty has uh, matched with the changes in other monetary and non-monetary uh, measure of well-being. This confirms that the general pattern of persistent welfare improvement in Ethiopia uh, over a decade. It also indicates that poverty estimates for Ethiopia are largely a reflection of the long-term uh, trend in the broad-based growth and improvement in welfare. Uh, what we have reached is that no doubt for the decline in poverty, but the degree to which the poverty fall over time must be interpreted cautiously, as there are some comparability issues at those time related to the data sources that we have been uh, explaining about the number of items and the recall periods that these different survey periods have been using. Thank you.